Good morning. Um, I'm out here at the park. I started riding my bike this week. Schwinn, baby. Schwinn. <laughs> so funny. It's probably a Jewish name. Some kind of invader's name. I just don't know. It was free. So I've been riding now for two days. Um, I just wanted to check in with y'all. Peace and power to everyone. It started out a gloomy day. And it brightened all the way up. You know, the sun came out. It was a storm last night. And after the storm, the sun comes out. A little inspiration for you all. Excuse me. Hold on. <coughs> you know how it is when you ride super fast. It'll be like 25 miles per hour. Um, out here just chilling, you know. So I decided to vlog. I haven't vlogged out in the park in a while. Um, mostly because I haven't been to the park in a while. <clears throat> My allergies. <coughs> I seem like this year. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Hold on. Yeah, my allergies seems like this year they're way worse than usual. So, um, it is what it is. I hope everyone is doing well. Peace and power to everyone. I um oh oh no. I got a whole bunch going on. Hold on. Okay. Back. Uh whole lot going on here. Just clearing my mind as usual. This is just a vlog. I was riding and listening to um, 432's Vibe Suite, the B.O.B., of course. When I'm working out, I like listening to um, rap, and I prefer conscious rap. And this brother, he just triggers thought, all of the stuff that you don't usually think about. He has it in one song or another. So shout out to B.O.B. Um, for trying to wake up the masses not hard one of the things that he said in this song i was listening to is sovereign sovereignty is unattainable and we know that through the most high the creator all things are attainable um i'm asking for everybody to keep the price family in your prayers we just have a lot going on um it's kind of overwhelming. This morning, I just wanted to actually wake up and just cry. <laughs> just hide from the world, but I have responsibilities. When I was single, I did used to, um, when I was going through stuff, I used to be able to lock myself in the house and I can cry until my eyes were puffy, you know? Um, when you're a parent, we tend to try to stay strong in front of our kids um and then when you're keeping a household running you just don't have time to shut down and break down okay so um shout out to all of the people that don't let this world break them you know this is a shady place it's a place filled with horrors and um the massacres alone, every time you're outside and you're walking on soil, nine times out of 10, your ancestors' blood was escaped there, you know, um, <clears throat> released there. We're in a, hold on y'all, my science is sorry. We're in a horrible construct and one of the things I used to always pay attention to were the pyramids. Um, not pyramid worship, but um, how people used to say, well, if they built the pyramid, then the, I think that's the bottom part or the newest stones. And the top are the oldest stones. So it always triggered thought for me. Maybe at some point. They got turned upside down. 
so then when I saw the Matrix, the video I shared with you all on the Matrix, um, where the pyramid was on the back of that TV and it was upside down. Because I'm thinking maybe they came down and spread out into the earth. So if it's upside down, there would be a platform to come down and then you know you go through some stuff some kind of transformation on the inside and you come out of that narrow end or maybe it was a reproduction site that's where they took the son of man and reproduced and then the the offspring came out the bottom i don't know i always just thought about it um being so pretty much flipped upside down but morning um other than that we just know that we're living in a horrible world. We're living in a place where people watch others be murdered and not speak out, not say anything. They don't support. We're surrounded by um, invaders, colonizers, our oppressors, and people are okay with that. So that along with whatever you have going on in your household good bad or indifferent um it, it's a lot it's a lot to carry sometimes and um brother uno used to tell me that we have to separate from our feelings this is something we used to argue about constantly because there's no separation the reason why um the creator created woman or um, let's not say woman because we know in our language woman means our oppressor. It's omen. <laughs> it means your oppressor. So um, the reason why the creator created the female um, he took I'll say a portion of himself and made female and the other portion is male so the most high made in us the male female balance and we're entitled we're um called to stay in tune with our emotions we carry the worries of the world on our shoulders and the males are supposed to be our power um our enforcement, um, our guides, so to speak, our leaders. Um, but again, there's no separation. In Sister Science book, which I'm reading again, um, me and the remnant are reading this book again. She's the only person I found that is interested in learning the language and is serious about it like myself um, we both believe in the power of prayer and I do want to open this study up to anybody who has the book we don't want to slow down waiting on people to get the book I've expressed to uh, everybody you should get the book because it's damn worth $30 um, if you're trying to learn our language we cannot go into prayer without knowing our language and it'd be a strong prayer it's something about speaking in your native tongue um to the most high and knowing exactly what to say we know that our language has been made vulgar and when we're praying sometimes it's just mere empty words other times words that we now are coming into the meaning of using the etymology things that we should not be uttering or saying so you can't even have a moment with the creator that is another thing they've stolen from you and it bothers me that people don't feel that this is important it all is important everything has its part um <clears throat> the analogy of us being one body the toe not being more important than the finger we have to get that mindset you are not bigger than your brother and i say this to everyone um 
to all my brothers, I'm in a place of utter disappointment. And I know you all, you know, y'all ain't these egos and y'all don't connect with your feelings, so you don't care. It's cool. I'm going to continuously speak my mind, though. Utter disappointment. We were supposed to be one family, and now we're broken off into sections and groups. I don't understand how that's going to work. And then I log on to Instagram this morning. And um, I don't know if y'all follow Raspy Rawls. He's talking about taking a trip to the Four Corners. So what we had in mind to be glorious, you know, and triumphant, following the Creator's instructions and our hearts thirsting out the Creator, is now up for sale. I saw the other day he posted um, he posted a video he was watching on Drops channel 432 and he mentioned him in a comment and now they're planning a trip to the Four Corners. Um, this is somebody who still to me needs to do more research before diving in. Um, not a lot of biblical background, just this knowledge. And that's the the curse. The knowledge is a blessing and a curse. The blessing is you waking up your people and you having it as fact. You know, this is not um, fiction. The curse is when your heart isn't after the creator it becomes somewhat of a trend um i'm hoping that the new research and this trip wakes up more people um in the community i think he's digging into that channel and that's awesome but again this thirst is for the history and not the creator we got to get back to our laws our hearts have to be in the right place um my personal opinion on why utah wasn't successful is because people's hearts were still in this babylon there was a babylon mindset there was um a separation um animosity and nobody will say it I personally um, have spoken with a couple of people about it and you know people excuse separation but the whole idea was to go out there and connect whether it be you know everybody on one page or people on different levels you all still in the same area and you're supposed to connect and love on each other until we get it it's not going to be successful and now I feel as if it's being sold to the highest bidder like the whole thing is frustrating like I said I'm utterly disappointed and it's not because um, I know everyone's heart or I know everything it's just the whole thing is utterly disappointing we have to keep track And I, I'm hoping y'all can hear me over the wind, but um, the focus was lost. Um, I'm not going to go on and on, like 15 minutes in. I just want to encourage prayer. And before you pray, I encourage for you all to get your minds and your hearts in the right place look up the words of what you're praying about at the least there's no breakthrough in ignorance um, this is not a trend this is something very serious we're moving into another phase 
of our freedom, so to speak. And I'm not talking about physical, but mentally. We have to get this division out of the way. Like I say, it's disheartening. And then people are watching. The world is watching. I don't um, speak on every person that reaches out to me. But some of the new people that are reaching out, people are watching. Brothers. <laughs> like People are watching. Let's not be what is made a mockery of, you know? This isn't a popularity contest. This is not um, high school. This is not high school. The bickering, the threatening each other, the um, belittling each other, making up rumors, the backbiting, uh, false accusations against your brother, um, any little reason or thing. I'm not buying it. And people, and I say this all the time because it's like people tend to think that I choose sides. I say the same thing every time. I don't participate in gossip. I mean, um, things that not, have no validity. There's no one has any facts to prove <laughs> some of the stuff that's being said. It's just like crazy. And this is on both sides, male and female. Um, and a shout out to all those that have bitten the dust. <laughs> you know, this isn't for everybody. I'm not for everybody. I have the courage to reach out to people. But again, you, you don't get along with everybody that you meet. And sometimes you just don't want to meet <laughs> new people at certain points. I'm at a point right now where my plate is full. Um, I'm still open for studying and praying, um, meeting new people. But the drama, I cannot. I can't take on anyone else's drama. I have my plate full with my own and a couple of people I know I'm asking to be covered in prayer but in knowledgeable prayer like I said before you pray please look up the etymology I don't need any curses I have a lot going on I'm just trying to stay mentally sane at this point um, so this is a call to prayer and not just for me, but for us, for your brothers and sisters, for the body. There's not one person bigger than the other, no matter um, what is being said or put out there. The toe is not bigger than the finger. I think the colonizers, the invaders... They have even hijacked your mindset to even condone it being okay to um, put a dollar amount on this movement. To even think that it's okay to be manipulative. Um, to have a divisive mindset. Division is nowhere in the scriptures. I don't care what language you're reading it in. There is even a male-female balance. The creator is both male-female balance. There's no division in even that aspect. And until we fix it. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> and I'm not laughing because it's funny. I'm laughing because it's really sad to think that people tend to think that one part 
will be lifted without the other. The whole thing is being lifted. One end might be higher than the other, but we are still a whole. And the part that's not equally lifted is going to be heavy. It should weigh on your hearts heavy. Everything that's going on. If you have a heart, uh, some people are just dead. Um, that's that reprobate mind. They do evil, they speak evil, and they have no conscience about it. You can dress it up. I tell people all the time, you can dress a pig up. And at the end of the day, it still does not sweat. It's still a pig, you know. I'm just tired. Um, I think, and I'm not sure, I probably still share information. I might take another break just because here comes the invader with all of his dogs. Um, I think that I am going to break. He's on his bike and then he has two dogs on his leash. And now, you know, Lex spoke about the hair color and all that the other day. I got to go back and watch it again and write it down. I'm just looking at people and their phenotypes. Every little thing that we can um, pinpoint about our colonizers, our invaders, um, just people. Everything that we can pinpoint, then we should. And... You should pay attention. That video that I uploaded about the psychopaths, you should really pay attention to the behaviors of those around you. And to all of the people watching and listening to mine or my brother's videos that know that you are not native, that you're not indigenous, that you're not autochthon. You should not be registering as American Indian. It's a lie. It is what it is. The creator said that other nations would join up with us. But he did not say that that is going to make you us. Let's be clear. Um... People are watching. And it seems like the movement of us in the past, present, when you look at things, it's always hijacked by other nations. You come in, you join up, and then you, you somewhat water it down and want to take over. I'm not for that. Like, if you are not American Indian, you should not be filling out an SF-181. You're here for support, not to become a liar, not to act as if you're doing the right thing. You can be in the number without actually being in the number. And you should feel a certain type of way, just the same as I feel about a Hispanic person or African person claiming white, you're selling your own people out. You should feel the same way. You should not feel comfortable going in there, checking off American Indian, knowing that's not you. You're here for moral support. And maybe physical support. If we need some frontline soldiers or something. The blood is still on your hands. You, you sat around, I don't care when you woke up and experienced this privilege and we appreciate you being woke um, and getting this information, but it does not mean to become a liar, especially because one person um, is in, in agreement. You know, I'm in agreement for you joining the movement, but not becoming a liar.
You shouldn't feel comfortable going there filling out a SF-181 knowing damn well that you are of other nations feeling comfortable telling a lie. It's not cool. Not at all. Peace and power. Everybody enjoy your day. I'm out. Oh, okay. I guess I have to join this. Um, I was saying peace and power. It was a call came through. Peace and power to everyone. Um, like I said, stay in your lane. You are welcome to be moral support and physical support if needed. But stay in your lane. Nobody else is going to say it. I'm going to say it. You should not be joining up if you do not have copper colored skin to claim American Indian on the SF-181. Copper colored skin. And we know that copper changes colors, but it does not lose color. If that if that gets you on your feelings, so be it. You know? Okay. Peace and power to everyone. I think I spoke about everything. And I need to be covered in prayer by my copper colored melanated people. I'm picky. I'm sorry. Um, that's who I need praying for me. That's it. Um, we know that we have an inner connection with the Most High. Everything else is outer. And all these random gods I don't know where those prayers will land I, I just don't want them so I'm reaching out to all of my copper colored melanated people to um, pray for us as a people all your brothers and sisters and pray for us as a family the Price family and like I said look up the etymology before you start let me random <laughs> random words me okay all right, peace and power, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. I have to ride one more lap on my bike, and I'm out of here.